in this video i explain elements of steam condensing plant first i explain the arrangement of the steam condensing plants then after i explain the functions of all the components so first elements in steam condensing plant is the condensers okay so there is a two types of condenser is possible one is called jet type condenser second one is the surface condenser in a jet type condenser what happen the steam and water both are mixed okay and then it is supplied it to the feed pumps so here in this diagram you see this is the surface type condensers okay means the steam is pass from outside these tubes and the cooling water is pass from these tubes okay so cooling water is pass from this tube means the cooling water is absorb the heat energy from the steam means the temperature of the cooling water is increase and we need to cool this hot water again means here cold water is enter so its temperature is increase so it is converted into the hot water so this hot water is again cooled in the cooling towers so here we spray the hot waters and hot water is cooled by the air so in this cooling tower there is a some space is provide for the air so air is sucked from this bottom part of the cooling towers and air is passed from these waters okay so temperature of the water is reduced and air is out from this top part of this cooling towers and this cold water collected in the cooling tower is again supplied it into the condenser here so you see this is the next component okay the component is the cooling water pump so this cooling water pump is supplied this cold waters to the condensers and during this cooling of the water in the cooling tower some quantity of the water is evaporated so we need to add the make up water means we need to add the fresh water so here we supply this make up waters and this is the make up water pump Okay, so this way, this the cold water is continuously circulate in the cooling towers. This way, the cold water is continuously circulate in the condenser. Okay, so here first component is condenser, second component is the cooling tower, third component is the makeup waters, and the fourth component is the cold water pump. Now, now next condensate collected in the condenser. means the steam coming out from the turbine it's converted into the water okay so this water is called as the condensate so this condensate is supplied into this hot well by using this condensate extraction pump means this extraction pump is supplied the water from condensers to this hot well okay so here we understand the two component one is the condensate extraction pump another is the hot well means in a hot well the water is collected and this water is again supplied it to the boilers by using the boiler feed pumps okay so now the next component is the air extraction pump we know that we need to maintain the condenser pressure below to the atmosphere okay it is called as the vacuum pressure so we need to remove the air from the condenser for that purpose we use the air extraction pump okay so these are the various components or elements of the steam condensing plants now we understands the functions of all the component in the detail so first component is the condensers so condenser is a heat exchangers in which exhaust steam coming from a steam turbine is condensed by using the cooling water so here you see this is the condenser in a condenser what is the input that is the steam coming out from the steam turbines and this steam is cooled by using this cold water or a cooling waters second component is the condensate extraction pump okay so during the cooling process the steam is converted into the water okay and this water is collected into the condensers and this condensate water is supplied in the hot well by using this condensate extraction pump third component is the hot well so what is the hot well it is a sump which store the condensate receive by condensate extraction pump means the condensate means the water is stored in a hot well fourth component is the boiler feed pump so here you see this is the boiler feed pump so this pump which pump the condensate from the hot well to the boiler so what is the functions of this boiler feed pump the supply the water from hot well to the boiler so this is done by increasing this pressure of condensate above the boiler pressures so this boiler feed pump is increase the pressure of water above the boiler 
pressures now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to the power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for more video various link is provided in descriptions as well as you can visit into the playlist of my channels now the next component is the air extraction pump here you see it is air extraction pump is connected with the condenser so from the name we can understand it is used to remove the air from some parts okay so here we use the air extraction pump to remove the air from a condenser so air extraction pump is a pump which remove the air from the condenser if it remove both condenser and water it is called as the wet air pump and dry air pump remove only air from the condenser means suppose we use the air extraction pump which remove only the air it is called as the dry air pump and suppose pump is remove both air as well as the condenser then it is called as the wet air pump next component is the cooling tower it is a tower which is used to cool the hot water coming out from the condenser by spraying the hot water from a certain height so here you see it is hot water coming from the condenser is spray in a cooling tower okay and this hot water is cooled by the air so air is supplied from the bottom sides of the cooling tower so here the air and the water is come in the contact so air is absorb the heat energy from the waters and air is out from this upper parts the cool water is again circulated into the condenser so here you see this cooling water is collected in the bottom parts of the cooling tower and this water is again supplied in a condenser next component is the cooling water pump so it extract the waters from the cooling towers and circulate it around the condenser so here you see this pump is the cooling water pump okay so here you see this pump is connected with the cooling towers and the tube of the condenser means it transfer the water from cooling towers to the condensers and the last component is the make up water pump so it is a pump which circulate the make up waters so why we need to add the make up waters because during the cooling of a waters in the cooling tower some quantity of the water is evaporates okay so we need to add the some fresh water it is called as the make up water and for adding the make up water we use the make up water pump okay so here i complete all the elements of the steam condensing plant so thank you for watching this video If you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends